Welcome back. So this time we're gonna finish up the third row delete system. Now we have the plate completely finished and done, but we have to add our mounting points for our gear. And then also we need to go ahead and make uh, beauty plates for this to cover up the holes that are left from the third row um, seat removal. So let's go ahead and get this plate in here and I'll show you my plan. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, I can't wait till this is bolted in and we're done. Okay, so here's the hole we're trying to cover. We have this trim piece here. Makes the top look nice, but we need to come up with something here. I think that's what we're gonna do next. We, we're gonna have to trim this off here too. I'll show you how we'll mount it. Don't make fun of my clamp. This is the only one I have at the moment. It'll have to do the job. figure a way to mount this right here and it's in a blind hole so what I did is I took a piece of a flat bar drilled a few holes in it with some measurements there's actually a a threaded hole threaded bolt down in here for the factory seats so we're just gonna use that all right then we're gonna line this up here Hold it where I want it. Okay, just like that. Okay, those are now marked. Then the next step here is we have to figure out how to mount this. Now this will just sit in here. Uh, when I push it down, it'll clip in, but I don't think that's good enough. They actually have this body clip here. So what I think we're gonna do is put a piece of angle iron right on here, or aluminum, and uh, then put a hole through it. That way this body clip can clip onto that piece of wood. So now, this whole thing becomes structural. And if you want to set stuff on here, you totally can since it'll be supported. Ooh. Um, oops. It's okay, we'll fix that. We'll Cut this little ear off so that one fits. There we go. Cut that little guy, cut that ear off there. That way it'll fit. These aren't super structural, but next time I will, uh, I will measure this out and get them apart. All right, let's put this together and see what we got. See if it all comes together. Yeah, look at 
that. That is nice. Now I'll just add carpet. Let's see if our hard work paid off. Here's the final product. Look how clean it is. Everything has nice clean lines. Well done, super secure. All the bolts are countersunk so you can slide things over it. Even uh, foreigners have a little like body clip right here. I haven't made a bracket to hold that so these are actually supported properly so you can set things on them if you wanted to. They're really cool and this is the best part. You just grab a little uh, body tool, pop this piece out, one bolt takes this whole piece out and then eight bolts for that so yeah I am tickled pink with it it looks really nice I think the only thing I need to do is uh, get a piece of trim for right here I have the factory trim coming and I'll stick that in there when it comes but for now I think it's about done I am tickled pink with this thing I just I really like how well it turned out it turned out really nice and Helen says it looks like factory and that makes me feel really good <laughs> but it does look really nice and main the main thing though is gonna function really really well It'll give us a solid foundation to mount things to now I said we were gonna get to uh, mounting stuff to it and creating a mounting system and we will do that in the next video but uh, Helen and I need some time to go through and figure out where we want everything to be, where it's going to pack well, and where it's going to be easy to use for the both of us. And um, we need some time to figure that out before we mount anything permanently. But we will do that in the next video, most likely, uh, since we have that trip coming up. So with that, I think it's about time in the video. That's all I have for today. It's really hot. I need to go inside. And dinner is just about ready. And I think today I need a cold shower. So that guys thank you for watching really appreciate it we'll see you in the next video